Welcome to this, which is the first of a series of 10 podcast and YouTube videos, which will help you understand how you could reinvent your upstream oil and gas operations after the COVID-19 with respect to process safety. So the reason I'm doing this series is because McKinsey and Company issued a really interesting article, which is this one. I'll put the link in the in the chat, uh, which said that we really need to think about how we are operating our assets and we need to revolutionize the way we manage them to try to get the current assets that we've got operating at lower price than they were before because we're not going to have the capital available to invest in the future as we have done before. So some interesting facts that they put in this article. One is that over the last decade after the last oil crisis, the, the cost per unit of operation has dropped by 30% on average. So there already has been a lot of cost saving happening within the industry. A lot of this cost saving has focused externally. So looking at how service providers can cut costs for operators. So now really the focus needs to be looking internally. How can we as an asset control our costs internally and make sure that they're most cost effective way of operating. Now we have to balance this information with the findings from the Marsh report. Marsh have issued uh, the 100 biggest losses. And in the last report in 2019, they stated that between 12 and 18 months after an oil, oil price crash, there is a number of high severity incidents in the oil and gas industry. We've already seen this happening after COVID-19 and not only in the oil and gas oil and gas industry. We've seen the algae polymers leak where styrene was leaked into the surrounding area. Um, that was as a result of the way in which they started up after COVID-19. Now, the reason that the lag that um, Marsh have mentioned in their report, the reason for this lag is because it takes some time for the cost cutting associated with process safety to result in an incident. So, the incidents that we're seeing now, just after COVID-19 lockdown has lifted, those are related to changes in the competence or the way in which we operate, right? Distracting operators from their tasks that they're doing right now. The actual effects of the cost cutting that we're seeing now are not going to be seen for 12 to 18 months. And at that point, we will start to have a larger number of high severity incidents. Now, what I want to do and the reason why I'm doing this channel and why I'm so passionate about doing it right now is I want to make sure that they don't happen. And then in 18 months or 12 to 18 months, you can come back to me and say, you were completely wrong. And I say, no, I wasn't wrong. We just did a really good job in sharing the information on this channel. So make sure you subscribe. And over the coming weeks, I'll be sharing some tips with you on how you can manage your process safety better while still saving the company money. So the next thing I want to talk about is that if you think that you can save a bit of money now, so a lot of the savings that you apply now will be short-term cash flow savings. If you have a major process safety incident, if you just have a look at the data that will pop up on the screen from the Marsh report, you can see that the savings that you're making now with regards to cash flow are a drop in the ocean to the cost that you will incur if you have a major process safety incident. So make sure that the way that you're saving money is structured on risk-based process safety management. Make risk-based decisions, yeah, so that at least you can minimize the potential for these major incidents happening, and, and th that is a way of managing your financial risk in the future. So as I said, over the series of next uh, nine articles, I will outline, following the suggestions in this report, how you can use those suggestions in a structured way to assess your process safety management. So the other thing that I want to mention, which is mentioned also in this um, report from McKinsey, is that the way in which to streamline your operations is to really understand your facility. So I'm not gonna provide you anything generic that you can just apply to all your facilities. Each facility needs to understand their risks and their risks may be different from another facility, even if they are producing the same thing. 
the layout may be different, the culture of the people who are working there may be different, their competence may be different, the way that they store their documents may be different, the legislation under which they're operating may be different. So the risks associated with operating different facilities changes and you need to know the risks for your facility. And if you know those for your facility, you can make risk-based decisions which will save you money. Thank <laughs> you.